not sure if this happened during your first or second WCW run, but there's a lot of stories out there about the squeegee thing with you and Brian Pillman. Mm -hmm. Was that during your first or second run? That's actually when I was in the WWF. What it was, I tore my bicep that night in Orlando, Florida, and I had left my car at the Hojo's that everybody stayed at. I'm sitting there talking to them. And actually that night, Magnum TA, and they were trying to talk me into coming back to WCW. And I was just telling them how great things were. Um, Brian Pillman started running his mouth, and I said, hey, fuck you. And I had a torn bicep. You know I mean? I couldn't, I couldn't have fought if I wanted to. And so I just remember getting up. My car was dead. A guy was giving me a boost, and uh, Pillman was out there, and it just so happens it was in the floorboard of, my, it was, uh, of the passenger seat. And I grabbed it and said, hey, motherfucker, you want me to whack you in the fucking head with this? Of course, he didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so it's it it kind of an exaggerated Yeah, instance. of course. Thing is this, if, if Brian Pillman never had anything, you know, if he really wanted to be a tough guy, when I beat him up that time of war games legitimately and were sitting through that cage, he had all the reason he could have fought right then. He didn't want to fight. Oh, was that the power bomb thing? Yeah. Where, uh, was that an accident? No, that was purposely. Where you basically power bombed him on his head? Well, about sitting through the cage, then his head. Yeah. And this is the reason why. Like, uh, like he would come, you know, him and everybody, not just him, all the baby faces hated working with me in the Northeast because they got booed. So we were in the Meadowlands one night. He didn't want to take my finish. And Magnum said, no, you're going to take the finish. So he's always, he was always whining and always complaining. And, uh, and so when we were in Phoenix at the war game, I said, this is, you know, he's running his mouth back there. And so I drove him as hard as I could to the cage and as hard as I could to the mat and sent him to the hospital.